Climatologists say the unusually warm and dry weather we experienced last summer in the Pacific Northwest is similar to a typical summer we'll experience in the future under climate change. I asked some early career scientists and managers how they were impacted this summer. It's been a really dry summer and it's been really, really hot. And I thought it would be cooler and more fun to spend time outside. I'm just too hot. <laughs> the huckleberries too, there was just a lot less up in the mountains and they came out um, about a month early. My lawn has turned very brown and crispy and my tomatoes look very sad from the lack of rain we've had all summer. We go out and we harvest first foods and uh, one of the biggest ones or the major ones we got there's huckleberries. And so we went out this year to get some huckleberries and we noticed they they weren't as much in the sun, they're more prevalent in the shade, and uh, they were a lot smaller than they were last year. I also asked how they hoped the research and management could increase the region's resilience to climate change. Help people to predict what climate change impacts will look like and therefore be able to devise adaptation plans. My research looks at the, the vulnerabilities of different types of vegetation and uh, how they're going to be impacted by uh, uh, decreases in snowpack with increasing temperatures. So that's going to help us um, identify and uh, prioritize different areas across the landscape. Help to inform decision makers on how to use conservation mechanisms better. And we're also looking at getting better stream information so we can kind of tell how it's been changed and work on our riparian shading, restoration. My research looks into looking at conditions that are conducive to uh, so-called mega fires. So what weather conditions uh, help us have very large fires. The tribe doesn't want to be dictated how to adjust. They want to come up with their own plan and adjust on their own. And so we've you know, it's begun that process, the conversation, and getting us together. For more information about what scientists and managers are doing about climate change in the Pacific Northwest, visit this website. There's no shop as the frost slows down the clock. The lab's inward implode. Okay, just so you say your name and your affiliation. I'm saying try to look at like. Oh, instead interview. of the camera looking yeah. at you. Yeah, okay. that's fine. That's kind of hard. I felt a little bit iffy about my shower some days, but I can't really give up my shower, so <laughs> I just went with it. My name is Ben, ben Soderquist. Uh, I'm with the University of Idaho College of Natural Resources. Um, Why don't you do it again? PhD <laughs> student. Okay, why don't you do it again? Because you kind of laugh. <laughs> Because <laughs> how this is looking at me. I got okay, it. Yeah. How has the summer drought impacted you personally? Uh, here in Seattle, well not here in Seattle, uh, where I live in Seattle. So one of the, the, well, the biggest, uh, no, let's just start that over. So ask the question again. Climate change. This time it's personal. Now do it again. This time. This time. Okay. Climate change. This time it's personal. <laughs>